In today's video, I'm going to show you the steps to take to troubleshoot your problems in your aquarium. Why am I growing hair algae now? Why hasn't that coral opened up in a few days? Or what did I do wrong? In my experience, the number one problem that faces reef aquarists is not knowing how to troubleshoot problems they have in their aquarium. Any problem you might have in the aquarium can be solved. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you all know that diagnosing your aquarium only works if you've established a very regular maintenance on your aquarium. There's four basic steps. The first step is to test your pH. A quick pH drop in 24 hours can be really dangerous to the reef tank. Fluctuations in pH of more than 0.2 can be really dangerous to the aquarium. Normal reading of pH would be between 8.0 and 8.2. Step number two, test your alkalinity. I don't want to get into the chemistry of alkalinity and pH, but they work together. Alkalinity sudden drops can be really dangerous to SPS corals. An alkalinity drop of 0.2 in your reef tank can be really dangerous. The normal for DKH is between 7 and 12. And the third step is test your nitrate and phosphate. I put those together because both of those occur from what goes into your tank and what doesn't come out. Nitrate can be remedied by water change. Phosphate can't be lowered by water change alone. It's not just in the water column. Phosphate can build up in reservoirs, in sand bed, and in the rocks. So in order to reduce phosphate, you want to vacuum your sand bed and reduce your feeding. And the final step, and really the most important, but the one that we overlook the most, and I do it too, is you have to ask yourself, what did I do differently just before this happened to my aquarium. A lot of times we tend to do like four or five different things all at one time with our aquarium and that can be disaster or it can be difficult then to find out which one of those four or five things caused the problem. Just remember guys you don't want to do everything at once. If you see a problem take one step at a time. Do some research, read some books, and come and watch my videos. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. New viewers, if you've gotten this far, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll be informed of any uploads I do. Like always, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Yeah.